choice. If you know, you know. Now there's no if you know, you know. It's just a long black because a long black is elite. Have you ever seen something so perfect? Well, my favorite. Good morning and welcome to the vlog. Um, so we have a 10k run this morning. Yep. My goal is to get it in under an hour. So it's currently 5.01 a.m. We are having a pre-workout meal. We're going to stretch. We're going to warm up just to kind of let the body chill before we go. Because I want to try to go to the toilet. Um, so I don't have to stop. But I can't believe this is now a regular thing. Because, as you know, I ran my first 10k in December. Started running in October. Now this is my second 10k this week. Yep. So my PB is an hour and one minute. So I want to try and get in the 59 mark. It is paced. So it is looking good to get get there so I'm essentially my goal is 2k comfortable pace 4k at 6:20, 4k at 5 45 55 minutes to an hour and five so I want to kind of get it on the 55 minute side between 55 and 59 yeah yeah so we're gonna just got some caffeine obviously to so obviously get the bowels moving as well um and then we have some English muffins with honey and peanut butter because I'm actually no till like I'm actually obsessed with this on bagels at the moment but I ran out of bagels so English muffins are actually second in line at the moment sometimes I forget to drink water in the morning before I go for my runs but it's super important super important I've just been wearing the Asics Kaonos. I've been loving them. I would like to eventually get a second pair of shoes just to kind of like rotate between them as like I start running more. But these have been unreal because I do have feet problems. So yeah, I haven't been too bad with these. Also, a decent pair of socks have made a huge difference as well for my runs. Um, so I like the athletes' foot socks. They're running socks. Um, they're like this thin material, but they're like a little bit of support in them. And then I like these long Lululemon ones as well. Blake really enjoys these. He keeps stealing them from me, and I have to go find them in his room. Well, not in his room, in our room, but in his like spot. But his things are a little bit more stretching and then we're good to go. Why am I so nervous? Let's go. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Three, three four, five, six, seven, no, seven. I quite literally was fighting demons the last two Ks, so we did it. I did it. I did it in, let me tell you. What time I did it in. I use the exact driver time. Look at that bad boys. So I just got a 10k PB. And I'm so happy. So yeah. Blake didn't come with me on that one. Blake was asleep. And he's still recovering from Sunday. Yeah. He's <laughs> down bad. He had a um a big New Year's Eve. I didn't. I came home and went to bed. So yeah, he's done bad. But the next run we have this week is a 5k park run, but it's just going to be a chill one. No PBs in there. I'll be probably trying PB. Blake's going to try PB because he tries the PBs and every run. Well, I PB'd last park run, I got 20, 23 minutes. Mm, can't relate. Yeah. So yeah, no, my park run is a recovery run. <laughs> um, Because I've ran 20k's already this week. So. Happy Thursday. So you pretty much I'll done a half marathon this week. Uh, 
yeah, I've done a half marathon this week. Imagine just doing that all in one go though. Fuck, <laughs> that's actually, it's actually a big run. That's really scary. We do hard things here. You go, I have to wash your hair and now it looks like Hagrid. But we have an upper body session to hit. It's currently like 11. I just went to the cafe and worked with Sarah for a bit. I'm gonna sort this out, put a hat on, make pre-workout and head to the gym. I'm actually gonna have a hot cross bun for my pre-workout snack. Caramel, hot cross buns. I had to freeze it because I only got it on yesterday and it, like I got it on sale because it was going out of date. Pre-workout of choice today, we have Red Dragon Fireball Black in Sour Watermelon. I used to be highly ad addicted to this flavor, like I'd have it every session, but it just kind of got pushed to the back. So having that today with a non-stim pump, just in unflavored. I used to love pairing this with the peach flavored pump from Red Dragon, um, but we ran out. So yeah, can't do that anymore. I meant to buy another one, but I accidentally got the wrong flavor. I'm getting that everywhere. Why can't I do just like simple tasks? Because I'm a bit of an idiot. And then I'm just going to pop this in the freezer um, until I go so and then it goes all yummy. As if this is not like the most perfect thing you have seen. I'm so obsessed with hot cross buns. I wish they were like an all year thing. Obviously I'm running a lot more and I have bad feet like I've got something wrong with my feet that I'm a little bit I'm not ashamed about but like I've got bunions and like obviously they cause me a lot of pain just like walking in everyday life so I'm trying to find like pads to go on the sides of my feet just to kind of relieve some of the tension because it does hurt quite a bit so I went into the chemist got embarrassed left went to Woolies they didn't have anything but I got some home brand like electrolytes to have after my run um some chia seeds because I ran out and a Sprite and a Shook was on sale, which they're never on sale. So I was like, you know what? I'm actually going to treat myself and get one. So we've got a Sprite and a Shook. And I'm so excited to drink it. I haven't had one in ages. Because like $4, it was only $3. So it was only saving like a dollar. But it's still a saving. And it's treat yourself. I vibe that. Good morning vlog. Happy Friday. I'm at the gym. With Chloe. She doesn't look very happy this morning. You don't look very happy. <laughs> I'm tired. I <laughs> okay, I haven't had that one before. Oh, it's yummy. I've got it. So yeah. Do you want me to get my scoop? She need a pre-workout, so I got a pre-workout. On the book I'm reading at the moment. So this is the current book I'm reading. It's called Obsessed by James Peterson. And I've read, I'm a slow reader. I've read 126 pages in two days. Wow. I'm really enjoying it. It's a thriller. Mate, I've been trying to get you on the Yeah, I know. I know. Then. That's why I wanted to tell my vlog when you were here. <laughs> you told me to get this book. Yeah. It's fucking... Have you it's read it? It's bloody good. Yeah. Yeah, I really like it. So, Obsessed is my current read. And then my like self-help read book. I'm just reading the James Smith um, Not A Diet book because it's the easiest kind of like self-help book I can read because I find them like batshit boring. So yeah, anyway, that's what I want to say. We've got legs today, which I'm excited about. Why? I don't like training legs, but it's easier. I told easier. you we were doing legs. Yeah, I know. Okay. Yeah, but. I was like, fuck, maybe I told her we weren't. <laughs> no, I find it easier training legs with someone. Yeah. Because like. Yeah. It's just, more fun. Yeah. And like we talk and I'm not thinking. I'm thinking, yeah. but I'm not thinking. Yeah. Oh my god, I love that drink bottle. <gasps> the aesthetics, stunning. 
It's got a really, really good feature. It's a sip and a chug. So it's got a straw. <gasps> Okay, that's like some 2020-40 shit. Okay, we're gonna go train legs. Bye. I'm the person that has a limp roller for everything. Yeah. I've been influenced to can't stand limp anymore. <laughs> you weren't like that before me, hey. No, I wasn't. Hey guys. <laughs> Like three sets in and already contemplating her whole entire existence apparently. We have Chloe's favourite, the hack squat. All the way down, all the way down, all the way down. All the way down. There you go. I got one of you on the hack squat. Now we go. Flying weight curl, my least favourite. The birds are really like doing the most right now. The phone is like literally falling out of the pocket. <laughs> it's living on the edge. Oh no. Oh no. Is there no cutlery? Nope. <gasps> I'm bad. <laughs> right, I'll make it work. No, it's okay. Well, I'm hungry. Yeah, well, so am I, but... Dude, as if they didn't do for the bloody... What are you going to get? No, no. What am I? What are we going to go get? What are we going to go get? I'm going to go get the... Tim Tam McFlurry, if they've got it. Do you reckon it comes with hot fudge sauce? I'd assume so. I hope so, because it should. Yeah. Free, he's paying me cash. <laughs> oh, it's got caramel sauce? Ooh, that's random. Oh no, chocolate. That looks, looks so really good. Because there's only stuff. You don't need to feed me. <laughs> First impressions. Mm. <laughs> Good? Yeah, it's okay. Mm. The cookie pieces are good, but there's just not enough of them. I feel like if I had more sauce. Yeah, more sauce and more cookie bits. It's good though. Mmm, yum. Oi. Mm. <laughs> In case you're living under a rock, we are going to Japan in two days actually wild um getting my suitcase out i just got some like antibacterial wipes i'm just gonna need a bit of a wipe and then we're gonna pack it together i don't think she's coming but i love pretty pink suitcases i hate how dirty they get i actually ended up buying like another one just in black because I was so over how gross this looks only after like literally a few uses. It's obviously winter at the moment in Japan. So just trying to like pack light with winter hasn't been too hard. Um, I've seemed to like condense most things into just like packing cubes and then like I'm gonna wear my main tracksuit set there, so then I only really have to pack like my coat, if that makes sense. So, in these three main packing cubes, um, we have like pants, and there's heaps of room like left in these two, which is really good. Um, so we have pants, 
This is like all my socks, undies, bras, the whole lot. And then in here is tops and thermals, so like my long sleeves and everything like that. There's still heaps of like room in here, which is good and handy. This suitcase actually feels so small. Um, This is what I'm wearing on the plane. I just got like a black Nike tracksuit with the matching jumper. And I'm just going to put like um, a Muscle Republic like singlet underneath that. And I'm torn on whether to wear my Jordans on the plane or put in my luggage. Knit wise, um, I was trying to like work out what ones I wanted to bring. But I've just got like this white one from Arca Clothing. So thick, proper wool. Um, and then this I stole from my mum's before I moved to Adelaide. It's just like this cotton on like v-neck and I'm quite literally obsessed with it. So I stole that probably like two years ago and she's never getting it back because I wear it every winter. These might actually fit in my pants. One fat, fat, one fitted in, which was great. Hats, cause bad hair day things. I'm just taking a black cap. Concept, most of the places that we're staying, just so staying at three different hotels, have a washing machine. So just taking my favorite Kmart pajamas because Kmart is goat. Now, all I have is scarves. So I got a beanie. And I've got a little ear thing. Wool scuff. In terms of like carry on, we're keeping it really simple. So I'm just taking like this bum bag. I'm just going to wear this around Japan. Apparently protein is really hard in Japan. Um, we've got our chargers. Blake's going to take a backpack and I've got my sunnies. And then that's pretty much it. Oh, actually I have my big coat. Ah, this is the hard part because like I want to take like I want to take this big trench coat from my Johnny. Stunning. Like, oh, vibe. Um, so that's just going to have to fit in my suitcase too. I quite literally can't pack any lighter. Like I'm literally taking barely any clothes, which I'm so stoked about. So... That sounds like an issue that is just going to have to work and fit in there. I think that's basically done. Like, I'm shocked at how easy and, like, light I'm packing. Got our air tags as well, so I'm just going to put this in my luggage. And we have, like, two air tags each. So one in our carry-on, one in our luggage. And, yeah. Pretty easy. I do know Blake is not going to be as efficient or as easy with packing as me he's like mm, i'm actually gonna pack on sunday so when he gets home from work today he's gonna pack because he's like so bad for leaving it until like tuesday night we leave wednesday it would actually do my head in so yeah we're pretty much done besties i'm just gonna read and work today that is on my agenda oh and i have a baby shower how exciting i am so proud of myself so i've got a jumpsuit on because I'm going to Sarah's baby shower, which I'm so excited for. But what's massive is the fact that I'm not fake tanned and I'm leaving the house to do something that isn't like physical because when I'm not fake tanned, I quite literally refuse to leave the house unless it's for like gym run, something along those lines. So yeah, cute little outfit. I'm going to put some sandals and a bag on and go to her baby shower. But thank you so much for watching. A bit of a like four day vlog, although I was supposed to vlog yesterday when we went to park run and I was just having a really bad day like mentally and anxiety wise. So the last thing I was going to do was pick up the camera, um, but had a good day yesterday. Nonetheless, I vlogged it on TikTok because it was like really chill. Um, so if you want to see what I did yesterday, check out my TikTok, but yeah, didn't YouTube vlog yesterday. So then we're Sunday, did some work. I've just cleaned the house. Well, I'm in the process of I'm going to finish it tomorrow um, because Layla's house sitting whilst we're gone because Ada Bear can't stay by herself. And yeah, that is the Sunday vibe. This is my fit. 
and we're gonna go to a baby shower. Thank you so much for watching.